Corey. Hey, Paul, how are you doing? Welcome to another episode of the Mighty Code Coder. I'm Rob Fitzgerald here to make you great and help you innovate. In this episode, we're going to continue our AWS project, Static Website Advanced. So, so far we have created a basic HTML page arranged by some divs, a table, and a linked CSS page. With this basic structure comes a pretty powerful framework. Basically, your page is dynamic, and no matter what you put in it, it looks organized and plays well in all browsers. So now we want this to become our new static web page, but we want to be able to continue editing it in Cloud9 for the for future versions. So that is what we are going to do today. So let's back up a bit. We're going to start working with something called the command line or terminal. Now, let me tell you, this is not for the faint of heart and basically was the reason Macintoshes got their start. If you're wondering why an Apple is called a Macintosh, stay tuned. So we're going to use our terminal or command line tool to send our Cloud9 files to our S3 bucket. S3 stands for Simple Storage Service. For me, this is easy because this is how I started computing. I never had pretty screens or UX UI interfaces, just a green blinking cursor. Well, back to the Apple story. Apple had the same thing, a blinking green cursor. Well, the co-founder of Apple, Steve Jobs, got the idea that most people wouldn't use computers if this was how they were greeted. So he built a computer that only had a GUI, a graphical user interface. That's right, no more blinking green cursors or command lines whatsoever. It was called the Macintosh. So easy to use, a baby could use it. It was the birth of the most influential marketing commercial of all time that you could find out on YouTube if you just Google Apple 1984 commercial. Basically, Every computer that you are using today was brought about by this idea. Well, today we are going to foil Steve Jobs and his GUI and head right back into the command line to upload our new static web page to our S3 bucket. So let's get going. So I think it's important for you to uh, see where we left off. And remember those endpoints that we created for uh, our classes? Uh, let's do that now. All right, so I will go here and uh, go to my notes. Remember I said, keep those endpoints somewhere. Here is your endpoint. And if I click on it, this is what we came up with in your class. Basically, a pretty static website. Uh, if we, um, whoops, if we go to our development tools and look at uh, our source, page source, you'll see that it's basically, I mean, really, a really basic slug, HTML head, body, and HTML, and just one little image in there called robfitzgerald.png. All right, so we want to change that today to what we have. Now, in order to do that, uh, we got to go into Cloud9. All right, so let's go, let's go into our Cloud9. Remember, that is through your adhesive console into AWS Educate. And let's click on the IDE that you created so far. And if you haven't, create one. Uh, you could find that video. I'll put the link below. And so let's open this up. What we, uh, where we were at last time was, I'm going to close this preview for right now, was this was my HTML page. I had a CSS page connected to it, all right? And the CSS page was connected in a link tag right up here. You can see main.css. Uh, down here was the Mighty Code Code banner. Remember, I don't think that even worked. And down here was some dummy text. Let's go ahead and preview that and see what it looked like. All right, so preview in browser, there it is. Yeah, that's, that's it basically, and if I click over here, this will bump it out, and there it is. 
Uh, not very good, right? The banner doesn't work. The dummy text does. And by the way, if I cram this down, it doesn't roll over on itself and it stays readable. So that's really nice, but it's not exactly what we want. Let's first try to take care of this banner issue. Okay, the banner issue is because we don't have that banner in our S3 bucket so far. So let's actually go back to that and put it in our um, bucket. All right, so I will go into Cloud9 and I will click on services. And in our services, there's our storage section and S3 is what we want. All right, I will scroll down to the bucket I was using in your class, which is period six. Click on that. And you can see these are the files I had so far. I had an index.html page, which we're going to override. And then I only had one image. Okay. Well, I'll tell you what. If you start getting a lot of images on your site and videos and, and whatnot, you probably want to have it in its own folder. So let's first do that. Let's create a folder. And let's call this folder media. All right. And then let's save it. And you'll see it creates a folder called media. You can do that inside your bucket. Let's click on the media folder and let's upload our banner there. Okay, so I will click upload and I will click on add files. All right, there is our Mighty Code Coder uh, PNG, which is our banner. Let's click on that and upload it. And I don't have to go next. I could just click over here to upload. All right, and there it is. Now, what's great about when you send files up to your S3 bucket, if you click on them, they also have their own URL. Well, if I have my own URL, I could actually put that in my HTML page and know that it's there and not have to worry about being in the wrong folder. So I like that a lot. So let's go ahead and click that and copy link address. Okay, I'm gonna just hit the control button. And then now let's go back to our code and put that in for the image source. All right, let's close this for right now so you have more room to see. And there's my source for it. So let's go ahead and scroll across here and paste it in there, okay? Now, all I have to do is hit save. And now if I preview this, there is the banner, okay? So that's kind of nice. Now the dummy text is kind of uh, dumb. So let's actually put something else in there just to make the, to jazz the site up just a little bit. All right, and so uh, I will close that so I have more room. You could tell that this dummy text goes in right here. So I will delete that. And let's, let's go and let's actually put a video in here. How about yesterday's video, uh, Scrum Strong, okay? And so to do that, all I'd have to do is come in here and go to Share. And you ever seen this embed? Click that and there's some HTML, there's some embed code that goes right into your HTML. What that does is creates a, what's called an iframe. It cuts a hole in your website and just puts in there whatever uh, is in the source. And what's in the source is my video. All right, so you could go right here and hit copy right behind Paul there. All right. What Paul, you're mad at, cause I cut you off, I didn't, didn't let you tell tell us how how well you're doing today. I'm sorry I cut you off, right? Be cool. I'm sorry. I won't do that again. All right, so I'm going to copy that frame, uh, that iframe, and I'm going to paste it right in here. There it is. All right, so there it is. And now if I go ahead and save it, remember, I'm just hitting Command S. You could also go to File, Save here if you want. All right, and then if we preview that, there it is, and now my video is in there. Well, look, 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 it looks a little short, okay? So uh, you could go in here and the width, it says is 560. So I'm gonna say 100%. Okay, and hit save, and then I will come over here and reload it. And there you go, that looks pretty good. If I wanna see how it looks outside the browser, there's the whole browser. And uh, of course, if I scroll it down, nothing rolls over, it doesn't break, it looks nice, okay? Very nice, that's very good. But that's not why we're here today. We want that to go up to our S3 bucket and be, be our endpoint. So how do you do that? This is how you do it. This is the big point about this entire video and this is the 
a culmination of six videos. And this is the big, big teaching point right here. If you could get this, you got this. All right. All right. So um, here, here are the two. We're now in cloud nine. And I want to open up what Steve Jobs took away from us, the terminal. OK, so here we go. Here's the window. And you click on new terminal. All right. So, yeah, back in the day, that's all this was. It was if it was actually this green that my name is in. OK, the cursor was green. Everything was green. All right. And in fact, it was such a low level light that it really strained your eyes. All right. So uh, in here, we are actually within your S3 bucket, your environment. OK. In fact, I could show you that by if you type AWS S3 LS. So that's a typical Unix command in terminal. Now, do you get why Steve Jobs felt that no one's going to take this on? I mean, what does LS mean? That means list files, but it's like not LF, it's LS. All right. And so um, if I hit return, that's going to list all my S3 buckets. Look at that. And here's, here's your uh, period six one. Okay. Remember, I was making some for uh, the Mighty Code Coder. All right. So that's my entire S3 bucket. Now, um, what if I want to actually upload a file? Well, they in Unix, they have a command called copy, all right? And uh, it looks something like this if you wanted to go ahead and copy uh, your stuff over. So you go, uh, let me make sure this is big enough so you guys can see this is big. Uh, AWS, okay, S3, CP. That doesn't stand for Cal Poly, that stands for copy, okay? The file you want to copy... All right, and where you want to copy it to. So we want to copy it to S3, and we want to send it to this bucket right here, right? So let's go ahead and copy this one right here and paste it right there. Okay, so that looks pretty good. Now, if I basically just hit return, there it goes. It actually, I feel like it's doing more than it used to in the day. It actually told me that I uploaded that file up there. OK, to prove that it did upload there, I can always go and LS again. So here I am going to go AWS S3 LS. But now I want to list the files just in that bucket. OK, so I'll go S3. And I'll paste the name of that bucket and hit return. And there you go. I have an index in there. Of course, I already had an index in there, so that doesn't really help out. You know what would help out is if I put the uh, CSS up there. All right, so uh, instead of typing everything again, I hit it up arrow and go back to the command where we uploaded. There it is, copy. Now, instead of copying, I can now do arrow back. And instead of doing HTML, I can now do main.css. Okay, does that look good? Okay, hit return. That's now saying that's uploaded. I'm going to, again, hit up on the uh, up arrow to find out where I did that LS. There it is. All right, there's that LS. Let me make sure uh, you guys can see it there. There it is, okay. So I'm now gonna hit return and there it is. So I'm actually taking files from my Cloud9 and transfer them over to my S3 bucket, all right, which has uh, static website permissions. All right, so main.ds and of course I uploaded the banner already in this media folder. So I think now uh, I could rest assured that if I hit that endpoint that I saved, I should be able to see the Mighty Code Coder banner at the top, and then I should have that video in the content area. So let's try to do that. All right, so here is my endpoint. And if I click on it, wait for it, and there it is. It overwrote the other one that was in there, and there is the perfect one, and that is flying. That is published worldwide. People can see that. That is my, this is my web address. OK, for that website. And that's not very good. I was telling uh, some people earlier, if you really wanted to, you can make a tiny URL by copying this. And I probably told you guys this already, too, and go to tiny URL and paste it in there. And I could even give it a, a neat name. Like, remember, I was going to make the Fish Fisherman site. Fish Fisher, Fish Fisherman, Fish Fisherman. OK. And go ahead and make that tiny URL. Now, I already did that. So I'm just going to type that in now. So here's tiny URL. And I'm going to go fish. And hit return. 
and boom, there I got it with the my new tiny URL. Still not very good though. Um, if I was you, I'd go into GoDaddy. And so what I could do is go go to GoDaddy and they sell domain names. Type in Fish Fisherman, and they will tell you if it's one if it's available. Two, and they'll tell you how much it costs. It only costs one dollar, okay, a month by the way for the first year to actually have this. So I could actually take that, direct it to my S3 bucket and give everyone that web address for my name. Okay, so for now, try to get that working. Uh, change your HTML, add more add more uh, table rows or TDs and uh, make it neat and make it unique to yourself and you will get that 100 points. All right, so that does it for this episode. Hope that you enjoyed it. Remember, always trying to make you great and help you innovate. So until next time, what Paul? Yeah, if you have questions, you can leave comments below and you can find more information about the uh, site at www.themightycodecoder.com and also find me on Twitter at Mighty Code Coder. Thank you for watching. Thank <laughs> you.